President Trump has been tough on China when it comes to trade, but top U.S. officials say spying is actually the biggest threat from China, and it costs Americans in terms of jobs and taxpayer billions. Scott Thuman recently talked to Bill Evanina, the man in charge of U.S. counterintelligence, about how China is capitalizing on stolen secrets. How big is the problem of Chinese spying? We look at it from the perspective of a threat and what's our vulnerability, and we put China ranked number one. Their ability to steal our intellectual property and trade secrets has dramatic impact. We're looking at hundreds of billions of dollars a year. Russia is so often in the headlines here. When it comes to spying, to stealing, is China way ahead of them? It's not even close. I mean, it's, uh, I wouldn't even put them in the same uh, league. That's probably a, a, even too generic. Russia has their own challenges, don't get me wrong. But the long-term existential threat to our nation is clearly China. So Xi Jinping, the president, has a 2025 plan, which is open. He's, he's not been shy about saying that in 2025, we want to produce 90% of the following technologies from semiconductors, nanotechnology, uh, hybrid technology, autonomous vehicles, food, grain, seed. The best way to get their hands on our innovations, Evanina says, is to steal them. Sometimes Chinese nationals infiltrate American companies, other times it's hackers. And then there are Americans surrendering our secrets from within. It's also having uh, what's called the non-traditional collector, the scientist, the engineer, the academic professor, someone who's working in your, in your company that has the ability to have uh, the keys of the kingdom, that, that how you make your secret sauce. I'm very, 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 very reticent to let you have it because it's all classified oh, okay. and but i i will let you see it and you can take all the notes you want more than a decade um, ago the fbi yeah. captured a rare first-hand look at espionage the driver a pentagon worker with a high security clearance he's sitting next to a spy for china whoa, whoa. are you sure that yeah, that's yeah, okay yeah, yeah. Who is paying him for secrets? Both of these men went to prison. You've had six current or former U.S. government officials that have been charged with espionage-related violations involving China. So it's happening where you have American citizens who are helping the Chinese. That's correct. You referenced those six. They came from the FBI, the CIA, NSA, State Department, and the Army, right? And, and they betray their country. China uses social media platforms very effectively to target not only current federal employees, but former employees who are now contractors who put on their LinkedIn site or their Facebook site that I have this clearance or that clearance and then they send out uh, bogus emails inviting you over the China all expense paid trip uh, for a conference. It's estimated that the U.S. lost $400 billion from economic espionage in 2015, mostly by China. The That's the States same year the U.S. and China country. declared something of a ceasefire. We've agreed that neither the U.S. or the Chinese government will conduct or knowingly support cyber-enabled theft of intellectual property, including trade secrets or other confidential business information for commercial advantage. In the addition, spying together, didn't slow for long. Last month, the Justice Department indicted a Chinese firm for conspiring to steal secrets from U.S.-based Micron Technology, a maker of New Age memory chips. The value of those trade secrets? Nearly $9 billion. Sinovel, a Chinese wind turbine maker, this year was convicted of stealing secrets from an American company costing $800 million. Now China is selling those windmills back to U.S.-based cities and towns and, 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 and locations, which just makes it even worse. It's put salt in the wound. We're paying for products that we developed and they stole. That's correct. And we're buying it from them. That's correct. The American military is not immune either. The U.S. spent a trillion dollars perfecting the F-35 fighter jet. China stole the blueprints and unveiled the J-31, which looks an awful lot like the F-35. So the secrets, the research, the weapons that our military has been working on to create for weapons, whatever else it may be, that's getting stolen too. That's correct. When you look back over the last year or two years, you're going to see a lot of DOJ indictments and, and charges of individuals. A lot of that is for military. Stealth technology. If you look at the numbers right now, just generally, I think the FBI has charged or indicted at least 20 people 
uh, in the last six months just from China alone. We are lucky we have an arrest made, that's all well and good, but the damage is already done, the data is left. China's claim to have a deep friendship with the U.S. Do friends spy on each other? Absolutely, absolutely. I think China, they're too successful to stop stealing our trade secrets and intellectual property, and we don't see them stopping doing that. So how do we go about attacking a problem this large? Well, last month, the U.S. Attorney General's office announced a China initiative specifically created to combat espionage. But what may speak even louder is this false extradition of an accused Chinese spy. It is the first time that a Chinese official has been brought to the U.S. to be prosecuted and something that signals a more aggressive approach to crack down on spying. Sure sounds like a big problem. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Scott.